Welcome back to Anderson's Smoke Show. Sometimes it's not ideal to cook ribs outside on the smoker or the grill. So today we're gonna make some oven ribs and I'm gonna show you a super easy method to get some awesome ribs. If you're new here, I'm here to show you some awesome and simple recipes, whether that's here in my kitchen or outside on my smokers. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell. Like the video and write me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what you have to say about these oven ribs. Now let's get started. So today we're gonna start off with a rack of baby back ribs. And I love baby back ribs because they are the most meaty and flavorful between that and spare ribs. Now when it comes to preparing ribs, I always like to take the ribs and dry them off with a paper towel. It just helps uh, when you apply a binder, it, it makes it less sloppy and the seasoning seems to stick a lot better. So just go through the paper towel and make sure that you remove the excess moisture. Now that we've done that, it's time to remove the silver skin off the back of the ribs. On the back of the ribs, you've got a membrane. This is basically what's really holding those ribs together. If you want super tender ribs, it is best to remove this. Now it isn't gonna change much of the actual tenderness. It does help a lot on a smoker, but what it also helps is when you're chewing it, you're not chewing on this tough leathery membrane. So the easiest way to remove the membrane is a butter knife. Get down in here towards the end and get underneath one of these rib bones. And you just work your way across all the way along that rib bone, just like so. Give it a little tug. That little tug will start to pull it away. Then what I like to do, biggest tip you could have here, is take a paper towel. It helps you grip that membrane. Hold one end of the rack of ribs and just pull that membrane off all the way across. Just like so. And look at that, that is so rubbery and just uh, it's tough. Get that out of there. Now it's time to season these ribs. We're gonna do something really simple. A lot of times on the grill, I'm using yellow mustard as a binder, but today I'm gonna to use a little bit of olive oil. Like I stated before, we already pat dried these down. Now I'm gonna take my glove hand here and I'm just gonna pour just a little bit of olive oil into my glove, work it between my fingers there, and just rub that onto these ribs. And we're using this oil as a binder that's gonna help the seasoning stick. It's gonna give a nice finish on these ribs too. Yeah, get down the sides. Now flip this over. And my philosophy is no matter what we do to one side, we're doing it to the other. So we're just gonna work that oil in on both sides. Today I'm gonna to be using the Bearded Butcher's Hollywood seasoning for these ribs. Now let's get this applied. I'm gonna start on the back side while we've got it positioned like this. And I'm just gonna put a nice coating on these ribs. Take the back side of my glove here, make sure that's sticking real nice on that olive oil. All right, and we will flip these over and do the same to this side. And that's it for preparing these ribs. Get yourself a cookie sheet. Usually the biggest one you've got to work if you're doing multiple racks of ribs or if you don't have a large enough cookie sheet, you might have to split this up so that you can lay the ribs the opposite direction. Go ahead and take that though. Get yourself some aluminum foil and just line the pan. This is gonna make for some easy cleanup. And I'm gonna take my ribs here I'm gonna lay them down in here on this cookie sheet, just like so. That's it. The ribs are just about ready to go in, but first we need to preheat that oven. 
Just come in here, every oven's different, set it to 350 degrees and let this thing preheat. The oven's preheated to 350 degrees and it's time to get these ribs down in there. We're gonna put them in for two hours, so be sure to set your timer. Yeah, just like so. You heard it yourself, that's the two hour timer. It's time to pull these ribs out of the oven. And I tell you what, they do look good. Check that out. All right, so the ribs are out, but they're not done yet. The next step, we're gonna wanna sauce these up and give it some time to caramelize. So you wanna take your oven, and you actually wanna set your temperature up to about 450 degrees. While that's preheating, we're gonna go ahead and prepare these ribs for the sauce. So first, we need to just remove the ribs from the foil because we're gonna reuse this cookie sheet. And I'm gonna try and fold this foil up and save ourselves a mess here. Yeah, we'll get these ribs right back onto that cookie sheet and let me get this foil out of the way. All right, so I've got some barbecue sauce here. It is time to put it on these ribs. And I've chose this whiskey maple because it sounded good to be honest with you. So I'm just going to pour this on the ribs directly. And then I've got my silicone brush here that I'm just gonna work this in. To be honest with you, these ribs have a nice little crust on them. I'm excited. Get that all over the ends there, all over the ends of the bones. Just get it everywhere we can with that silicone brush. And these ribs are about to be awesome. Super easy way to make dinner, plan it ahead of time for the football game. The weather's bad, you can't get the grill out. You could be like us in the Midwest, in the snow belt. It is snowing like crazy outside right now. And I get to have ribs. It's pretty cool. All right, these ribs are ready to go back into the oven so that we can caramelize this sauce. 450 degrees for 10 minutes. Let's do it. And don't forget to set your timer, 10 minutes. We'll see you then. And there you heard it, but that doesn't mean we're done yet. Now it's time to set the broiler and we want this thing on high on the top broiler for three minutes. That's just gonna caramelize that sauce, crisp it up a little bit, and they are going to be perfect. These ribs are done. It is time to get them out of the oven. Oh yeah, we even got a little char on there. Now those look good. We're gonna let these rest here as you can see, they are hot as hell. Give them a few minutes, we'll get them off this cookie sheet and we will slice them up. All right, we've let these rest for about 10 minutes and it is time to slice them up. So my first suggestion is gonna be flip them upside down, that way you can see which direction the bones run. You could see these bones run at a little bit of an angle and I'm just gonna start cutting right in between them with my slicing knife. Oh yeah. Those are tender for sure. You can see that knife just gliding right through. And here is the last rib there. I'm gonna start flipping these over. I'm not gonna lie, these ribs, they look absolutely phenomenal. Using that olive oil as a binder helped crisp them up a little bit, and so there is a little bit of a bark, 
as well as using that sauce in the broiler. Now it's time, it's time to give them a try. Look at that bite, that is a clean bite. And I'm not gonna lie, these are tender, they're good. Mm. The thought that you can make ribs this damn good in just a little over two hours is crazy. Now don't get me wrong, I love my smoker, but it's the dead of winter and you might not have a smoker. So these awesome oven baby back ribs are exactly what you need today. And when I say today, I mean today. Today, you need them today. They're, I gotta take another bite. Those bites come clean off the bone. And this was just a little over two hours. If you're experiencing the winter blues and you're missing out on some ribs, this recipe is perfect for you. And if you don't have a smoker or a grill capable of smoking them, you're not gonna be disappointed with these baby back ribs. So I suggest that you subscribe to my channel and you take this recipe and give it a try yourself. And I'll see you next time at Anderson Smoke Show. Try these. It's gonna blow your mind. Turn that camera off first. Thanks again for tuning in to Anderson Smoke Show. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out that recommended video, then my Facebook and my Instagram pages. I'll see you there.